To make use of the custom validator function, I need to add it to the control group setup in the build form method of the order sheet component. And I need to add some visual feedback in the template. I'll start in the order sheet component TS file. I created the radio set required validator function in its own file and declared it with an export statement. So I can bring it into the order sheet component with an import statement. So at the top of the file, I add import curly braces radio set required curly braces from dot dot slash shared slash radio dash set dash required dot function. And down in the build form function, applying a custom validator to one of the control types is done in the exact same way as how you apply one of the built in validators. But the group function works a little bit different than the control function for applying a validator. The control function's second parameter is a validator function. The group's second parameter is an object with optional properties with specific names. One of those is validator. So in the form builder.group call for the sizes property, to add a validator to the control group via this form builder.group method, I need to send it in an object literal as the second parameter, give it a property named validator, and set that to a validator function. In this case, I want the radio set required function I created last video. I could also use the validators.compose here if I wanted to have multiple validators. So I'll leave just the one to take care of the logic for at least one radio check. With the validator wired up to the control group, I just need to add the visual feedback. Over in the order sheet component HTML file, I'm going to add a template reference variable to the element that has the ng control group equal to sizes on it, so I can get a handle to the control group. I'll name this sizes, setting it equal to ng form. And then I'll add a div with the CSS class of errors that the project already has that I used for the other errors in the previous video, and an ng if with a check against sizes.errors. Again, remember the three form block types, control group, control, and control array, all extend abstract control, which has all these properties you can use for state feedback, like errors. So just like I did with the customer name control, I can work with the errors property from that variable. Inside the div, I'll add another div with an ngif checking a property on the errors property. For the custom validator, in the radio set required function, I specify that it returns an object when invalid, and that object has a property named at least one radio required, set to the boolean true. That object gets combined with whatever existing object is stored in the errors property on the abstract control. So this sizes.errors object will have a property named at least one radio required when that validation fails, which means I can check for that in this ngif. And then add some text to let the user know that they need to pick a size. So wiring up to custom validators is done in the same way as the built-in validators, and using the error model is the same as well, with the added benefit of being able to control the structure of those model additions.